Right, hello there guys, batch batch recording going on here. Um, I'm now doing the second video before it gets dark and you can't really notice anything. Um, in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking my mate's CZT out for a drive and basically comparing it against mine and seeing how far mine is off being as good as his, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy today's video. Driving another Colt, yep. hey ho. I've actually driven this one before um, because obviously this was the one that I was actually looking to buy um, but never did because Matt took it from me so <laughs> but uh, yeah that's going to be what I'm going to be doing so I'm going to jump in and probably get going Right so here I am I'm in the cockpit of uh, the other Colt and it's safe to say that this one is quite a bit better than mine um, this car has a blow off valve on it which sounds pretty sick um, you can't really notice it from inside um, I don't think you'll be able to notice it on camera at least anyway um, but yeah it has a blow off valve which sounds pretty sick so I'll, I'll have to do that to mine um, it also pulls a lot better than mine but yeah it has one extra gear than mine so that's probably why that is um, and this one Jesus Christ I thought how tight it is around here uh, yeah, this one also has lower mileage than mine. Don't know if you managed to get that on camera. Or that one. Um, this one's only got 108,000 miles, so it's quite a bit better than mine. Um, yeah, other than that, I think mine is pretty far off. Um, especially due to the transmission. Maybe once the transmission is changed, it'll probably be better. Um, this also does have a air filter on it as well, uh, so that obviously helps a little more in terms of performance. Um, but yeah, other than that, uh, I think I can pretty much say, be safe to say that mine is close, but it still has sort of a lot to do, if that makes sense. Um, yeah. I've, so I've still got a lot to do to mine to get it to sort of this standard. Probably just kind of loop these roads one more time as well. Um, the steering feels a lot better in this than mine. Mine actually feels quite heavy, but I don't know whether that's to do with the sort of tyres this has got, because this has got aftermarket alloys on some quite freshly treaded tyres, if that makes sense. I don't know what tyres they are, actually. Um, I think they're Goodyear from what I read on the side. But yeah, the steering feels a lot better than mine. Um, a lot more responsive. Um, ow! Jesus Christ! I didn't even realise that one was there. Um, yeah. Other than that, I'm just going to take it for one more quick blast down this straight bit of road, and then probably hand it back and summarise today's video. Let's see if we can get here with the blow off valve. It does sound pretty sick. I really don't. I really do hope that sound does come out on. Uh, really do hope the sound does come out on camera because um, it, it sounds pretty sweet. Uh, it sounds a lot better than mine. One does have a blow off valve fitted by, uh, from the factory, but you can't really hear it as such. Like you might get the occasional like little squeak in a way, but yeah, you can't, you can't really hear it. So a blow off valve is definitely coming. Air filter is definitely coming. Uh, front mount intercooler is definitely coming. I'm also going to see what condition the turbo is in and all that sort of stuff, and maybe also upgrade that as well. Um, that's if I decide to keep the car because. The mileage of the car, um, of my car, we're talking about, uh, the mileage of it does concern me quite a bit and I don't really know whether it would be worth chucking the money at it. So I might just give it, I might just sort the gearbox out, sort a couple of other little bits out that it's got wrong with it, and then, and then yeah, um, might get it gone, might build it, it, it depends what condition everything else is in because I'm also going to give it a quick service as well, uh, see what state the oil is in and you know all that sort of stuff because oil can tell a lot from a car's history. Um, talking of history of my car, I ain't got any of it at the moment, the person's lost it so if he finds it again he's going to post it to me. Uh, but yeah, so I 
I hope you enjoyed these two videos of me reviewing this one, my new car, new old car, whatever. Um, so yeah, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good jazz, and I'll see you guys in the next video next week.